Hello guys, it's Steven here. The Champions League draw has been made. It looks like we've got one of our easiest groups since we started joining the modern Champions League format. We've got Napoli, Feyenoord and Shakhtar Donetsk. On paper, it looks pretty decent. None of the huge big boys are there. No Barca, no Bayern, no Real Madrid, no PSG. We've dodged a few bullets basically and my initial reaction to this is it's one that we should be positive about. It's one that we should be comfortable uh, and feel comfortable going through these group stages and not necessarily feel inferior. Yes, there are some good teams there. Yes, there are maybe one or two tricky games, but in general, that's the Champions League for you. Cannot progress in the Champions League without playing a tricky game or two. And we really can't be going into these games with an inferiority complex against the likes of Napoli, Final Chakta. We are, in my opinion, and given the money we spend, given the manager we've got, given the stars we've got, a better team than all of these. And we probably should look to exert our authority and act how a big team should act in this situation and be grateful that we've got a very decent group. That's not to say it's going to be easy, far from it. There's some tricky away games there and we'll go for each team individually in a little bit but when you're going to the far from regions of Ukraine it's not going to be easy and Shakhtar in general are a pretty good European team they're historically pretty good in European competitions Pep has always had a lot of positive stuff to say about them saying they're one of the best teams in Europe this was two years ago and if we don't play well we will get beat there but then obviously probably beat them 7-0 obviously it's going to be hostile it's going to be cold it could even be in the middle of a war-torn country apparently they're not playing their games at home at the moment given the fact that the country's in a huge amounts of unrest and it could be 100 miles away in Kharkiv uh, which will be one cold thing definitely one for the gloves and scarves I think uh, which obviously will make the environment very weird and you don't really want to be playing away in Ukraine the weekend before a big Premier League game so it's not ideal but it is what it is I guess that's the uh, kind of downside of getting a smaller team so to speak in the Champions League group stage you have to travel further usually maybe they aren't what they once were in terms of personnel when you think of the likes of Fernandinho Willian Elan even and Mkhitaryan, uh, Douglas Costa, all the players they've had over the years. They've had some actual stars, players that have gone to uh, arguably bigger and better things and no offence to Shaq Tournament there. But they're still a good team and still one that's going to be tricky but arguably on paper alongside final one of the easier games that we've got coming up in this Champions League group stage. Now, Napoli are the one that gets the football purist going. This is, on paper, a very exciting game. Obviously, Sarri has got them coached to perfection. Tactically, they are absolutely outstanding. The Pep's kind of formation with the whole between the lies and the pressing and the passing... It's that wonderfully done, but arguably the most organised team in European football. Though they did only finish third last year, they didn't win the Serie A uh, title, but they are still a wonderful team. Jorginho in midfield is absolutely wonderful. And, uh, many people were saying there's someone that we should have been after him. He dictates play and he passes teams to death. And obviously the organisation, the likes of Hamzik, their long-term captain there. They've also got Insignia, the Italian forward. They've got Koulibaly in defence. They've got Pepe Reina in goal. So a very experienced team and it's a good team as well. And that's going to be one that the purists are going to love Guardiola versus Sarri it's going to be intricate it's going to be incisive it's going to be tactical it could be really dull in the end but hopefully it should be fascinating watching two chess masters go head to head obviously as well Naples is a, a foreboding city, maybe beautiful to some people, but their fans are famously tough, famously not very nice, if we're being totally honest. There's loads of stories of blues being chased with dark alleys there, with knives and all that kind of stuff. So if you are going there, but make sure you stay careful, obviously. But it, it isn't uh, a welcoming city. It'll be quite hostile. Their fans are obviously very intense, and it'll be a tricky game. Arguably the most toughest of the group, and well, definitely the most toughest of the group. But I still fancy uh, to get something there. I still fancy Guardiola to outthink Sarri potentially and we should hopefully be looking to beat them and just to finish off the group we've got the current Dutch champions the team from Rotterdam Feyenoord another team famous for its hooligans the Rotterdam uh, hardcore fans are known for wanting a little bit of trouble and all that kind of stuff um, so we've got basically a war-torn country and two fans famous for hooliganism so it's not going to be friendly for our Hunter fans and it isn't going to be a friendly atmosphere uh, on the pitch either because their fans will be absolutely uh, rocking they'll be loud as anything but we're still uh, we still should beat them, put it that way. They play a 4 3 3 in general to keep a high line, which could play into our hands a little bit. I'm sure Pep will be looking at them again. They're one of the ones where we should be getting six points from there. Uh, and I like to think we should do that. Obviously, the area of is nowhere near as strong as it has been in recent history, uh, but they will still pose a little bit of a threat. But in general, it's a squad that I think we should look at and think, think we're better than these teams. We are the big guns here. We should be looking to go there uh, and get comfortable qualification pretty early on. I'm not saying it's easy, but given the fact we've had very hard groups in recent years, well, for me, 
this is manageable. That's just an instant reaction. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think of the group. Is there an easier group to be had? Is it the best group we've had since we came to the Champions League since Sheikh Mansour's era? In my opinion, it probably actually is. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, go watch the vlog I did with Nicola at the Everton game because uh, it was a lot of fun. Very raucous and lots of atmosphere. And there'll be an Everton preview coming up and obviously a match reaction after that game. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Set it! Set it! Set it!